Hello, I'm Gio, and I'm here to talk about GFCI, or Ground Fault Circuit um, Interrupter um, Receptacles. They're also known as Ground Fault Interceptors, that's GFI, or even Residual Current Circuit Breakers, RCCBs. But um, in essence, they are just receptacles, but they do have a difference. They have these two little buttons and quite often a light associated with them. So they do look different than your standard receptacle. And there's a good reason for this because in today's, um, all of today's bathrooms and kitchens where you have are in close quarters with water, uh, such as a sink, bathtub, shower, um, these are designed to um, disconnect quickly to prevent injury. Now, these are not to replace traditional circuit breaker panels or fuses. They, all these are connected to a circuit uh, panel or breaker panel by itself. But the breakers are not designed to actually prevent injuries. Many people think that is the case. Um, shocks. If you get shocked uh, by an electric outlet, um, the breaker could break uh, in, a, uh, in a panel, but um, you could still uh, sustain injury. These are designed to disconnect very quickly and prevent uh, significant injury. And um, that is why today's building codes, um, you will see, uh, require them in all bathrooms and kitchens where you have close proximity to water. But quite often, uh, even if you don't uh, contact water, these things blow. They're very sensitive again, and they could blow very easily. Uh, a good example is hair dryers. Hair dryers tend to make these things break um, quite easily. Hair dryers use a lot of energy, and um, quite often they overwhelm these little receptacles, and they pop, and suddenly you have no power. Um, but in these kind of situations, don't go to your, um, don't go first to your uh, circuit breaker panel, which is in your garage or your basement. Uh, look around, if, especially if you're in a bathroom, and try to find these little uh, fault receptacles because most likely these things uh, popped out, and all you have to do is turn them back on. So fortunately, as just a test, I have this. Um, I have this circuit tester here. Uh, you can get these anywhere, um, hardware stores, or even a lot of grocery groceries um, carry them. They have a lot of different symbols here. What what I'm interested in is this correct symbol, where th there's three lights. If these two lights go on, it's basically a correct circuit. But you don't have to use one of these. You could just uh, plug in a typical light as well, just to test it, um, or or any electronic device uh, to test it. So this. This really does help us out with this. So I plug it in. In this case, the two lights go on. It is a correct um, receptacle, wired receptacle, and it also works up on top. So two lights go on. So for this uh, receptacle, everything should work fine. But what if you're plugged to a hair dryer and suddenly it blows? Well, you have to find this. You have to look at these two little buttons. One button says test, the other one says reset. And when uh, these receptacles um, pop, the reset button pops out. And all you have to do, very simple, is to push in this reset button and the power is back on. And, uh, and the test button is just a test. Um, if you push it, you could just test to see if it works. Again, uh, hit the reset button, and if if you're don't be concerned with hitting these buttons, you could hit them over and over again. Test, reset. If you accidentally hit them, let's say you're putting in a plug, and uh, hit one of these buttons, don't panic. Just just hit that reset button, and everything's good. Um, for this particular receptacle, um, when the power goes off. This, it has a little light that shows, uh, indeed, the power is off. Other um, fault receptacles, when the power is on, the light is on. So it can be confusing. They're not all designed the same. I'll show you another one in a little bit that uh, turns on. Um, it's on when the power is on and turns off when the power is off. So it can be confusing. But the main, but the main thing you have to remember is two buttons. 
even if you can't even read it because it's kind of hard to read, just start pushing one. If that doesn't work, push the other one and um, this light doesn't come on. So, ah, there we go. So, um, and everything's good. So, in many bathrooms, uh, these are not necessarily right where you plug in. Quite often, there are many, several receptacles in, a, let's say, a bathroom, and um, there's only one fault receptacle. And in that case, they are wired in a series, with the fault receptacle being the first one uh, which uh, is connected to the power which comes from your circuit box and uh, perhaps you are uh, plugged into a standard traditional receptacle and this is away from your fault receptacle well if you have a hair dryer again and it causes the fault to happen you know you look at your receptacle and say well this is not a fault receptacle what happened well, look around the room and see if you can find one of these fault receptacles because this traditional one will be most likely wired to this one. So if there's a, um, if there's a short as a result of uh, something plugged into this one, this will pop. And so you have to find this one and test that one out. Just because you're not plugged into that, th this receptacle does not mean that it's not caused by this receptacle. So just push these buttons and figure out which one um, will turn it on and then you're dandy. So um, I will show you uh, quickly a different version of this. So I'll be right back. So here's another example of a GFCI receptacle. This one has your test switch in black right here and the reset button in red. And again you could press either one. It also has a light indicator showing where it, when it's working. So if you hit the test, the reset pops out, light goes off, you hit reset, it goes back on. Just to show again, put in our tester, two lights, it's correct. We test it, they're off, and we reset, it's back on. So there you have it. There are uh, the two types that at least I have. There, there are different types, more types than that. So, um, but typically they have the two buttons. Um, and again, I just wanted to show you that the, the faceplate on these are much different than what you traditionally see. You normally see these type of faceplates, but of course that would not fit uh, since it's a rectangular shape instead of two, um, two kind of plug shapes. Uh, so. If you do have, if, if one of these break and you have to replace it, uh, make sure you replace it with the um, correct faceplate because this definitely will not work. So um, this is attached in the middle with one screw where these are attached uh, on the opposite side. And don't worry about that. All the all the receptacle boxes that's behind this are designed to take these screws too, so you don't have to actually change anything in the internals. Uh, the internal wire box itself. So um, pretty easy. So don't don't panic when your power goes off. Bye bye.